I'm uh, sitting on the panel today at Multimoda to talk about the importance of racking safety. Um, the key areas of rack safety, the first part really is around the inspection of the systems. So under the pure regulations, the provision and use of work equipment and regulations, racking is subject to inspections and it's probably a little bit more than you think. So there's daily inspections, weekly inspections and expert inspections that should be carried out. Daily inspections involve immediate reporting, so the troops on the ground, if they identify any damage, it's really important that they're reporting that to their line manager and they're documenting that. The weekly inspections are covered by a person pointed for rack safety within the site and that person will be ensuring that the records are being kept up to date and again they're conducting those regular inspections. And then your third layer of protection really is around getting the expert to come in annually as a minimum biannually we'd probably recommend depending on sort of the frequency of the operation. So in addition to inspections it's really critical from the outset that the design of the systems um, is correct and that really means that you need somebody to come in as a designer and look at the whole project. So racking projects are classified as construction projects therefore under the CDM regulations you should appoint somebody to head up the design known as a principal designer and you also need a principal contractor to deliver the project. The design phase is critical, it pulls all components together, so you might have the racking, the material handling equipment, and it's important that those two companies are really working together and somebody's the controlling mind. Certainly we noticed that during COVID, when businesses changed the products that they were storing, clients typically start to change and alter the design of the racking solutions and it's really critical that if you are to do that that you check that with the original supplier of the system once you start changing the integrity and structure of the system it can really impact the amount of weight that the system can take and ultimately that could result you know worst case scenario potentially in, in a collapse a partial collapse of the racking system